Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to show you the V4 superchargers in Graz. These are the uh, very first locations, or this is the very first location with V4 superchargers. Um, let's say in Austria, closest to Romania where I live actually. So you will find these also in the Netherlands, I saw some, and um, probably in, in Norway as well. But these are V4, so they are capable of um, 1000 volts. So maybe Tesla is moving to 800 volt in the near future, or they just want to um, be compatible with all the other brands that have 800 volt systems. Currently, you know, they, they only have 400 volt systems, but is this a sign that they will be soon moving to 800 volt? We don't know we just uh, can guess so these are 400 and 800 volt obviously but let me just show you these are open to any brands of cars um, these are one of the many many locations that anybody can charge basically um, if you have the tesla app you can charge any brand of cars currently there are only teslas at the moment but there are eight with eight more cables already put in the ground so there will be eight more let me just show you so there will be some more here that's three, four, five, and I think three more cables over there with no chargers. And then there are seven here and, and one here. Let me just show you the actual charger. Obviously, there is no, uh, no hole in, in the middle. It's quite tall. I think it's a lot taller than, uh, than the uh, V3 superchargers. It's about two meters tall. It has a screen here, which is interesting. It's not working at the moment. I've already touched it, but it's not working. Interestingly, the cable, the, the button on the cable is not working. I've tried many times. I've even tried different chargers and the cable seems to be, I mean, the button on the cable is not working at the moment. The cable is quite short. I would have liked it if it was a bit longer, let's say two or three meters more long, just to be, you know, more compatible with other brands. But yeah, this is, um, these are the V4 superchargers. They look nice. Let me just see if I'm done charging so I can unplug. And then I'll show you guys a few more things. Yeah, two more minutes, okay. Um, so let me just show you the specs on this. Can I see it here? I'll put some pictures up, but maybe you can see it here. So it's 1000 volts, 600 amps, 615 amps. And these are all the specs. Maybe you can Google them if you want to. I'll try to put some pictures up so you can better see them. And it looks like, you know, they have more hardware inside because there's no hole in the middle. But yeah, there are some fans here. Touch screen, like I said, not working. Some cameras here or something. Not sure why. Maybe they'll be able to scan some QR codes in the, in the future. Who knows? But yeah, I just quickly, these V4 superchargers, they're really nice. Um, hopefully Tesla will be putting maybe longer cables, like I said, and um, yeah, maybe contactless payments with these little, so you can just tap your uh, and, and charge like that. You don't need the app anymore and stuff like that. So this was just a quick video. Hopefully um, it was interesting for you and you learned something today and see you in the next video. Bye.